So my garage has been filled with the sweet aroma of new rubber from these Cooper tires. And today was finally the day to load them up and head out to Dirt Trends so we can get them installed. Really looking forward to this. So when we got to the shop, I wanted to take a couple last pictures just so we could do some before and after stuff. But I really wanted to get some measurements to see what kind of increases we were going to get out of these tires. So from the center line of the Jeep, it's about 18 and a half inches. And the front differential is about 9 and a quarter inches. And that's where I'm hoping to really get some good gains from. The tires we're installing today are the Cooper Discoverer STT Pros. And these are 315-70R17 and they have a really aggressive tread and the sidewall tread is really a nice little bite. Now these tires are 34.57 inches tall, 12.6 inches wide and much bigger than my stock tires. They weigh in at about 66 pounds which is about 17 pounds per wheel increase. Now a few months ago when I installed my lift kit, I went ahead and put one and a quarter inch wheel spacers on there, so I was already set for this uh, installation. folks out at Dirt Trends are nothing but professionals and they do amazing work and they had all the equipment to do all the mounting and balancing and everything turned out perfectly. One of the questions I had was running a larger tire do I need to change up the tire pressure and they recommend running your stock tire pressure. For the rear tire carrier, all we did was add G2's wheel spacer, which is one and a half inches. And that brings the tire out a little bit, and that this wheel size fits perfectly in between the bumper and the third brake light. So I'm not going to have to make any modifications to the third brake light, and I don't have any clearance issues with closing the door. So I'm very pleased with how this worked out. We threw the Jeep up on the flex ramp so we could check these Cooper 315 tires in conjunction with my two and a half inch lift that I have. And there are no issues with hitting the fenders. The only problem is, is those rear tires are hitting the backs of those rock rails. So we're going to have to trim about an inch off of those. But that's an easy project and not a big deal. So if you remember at the beginning, the center height of the Jeep was 18 and a half inches. Well, we're at about 20 and three quarters inches at the center line. And then the differential went from nine and a quarter to almost 11 inches, which is really great. That means we're going to get some great clearance now with these big tires on the trail. So this is how we started out our day. And man, what a transformation. I am so impressed with how these tires look. They look amazing. They're so beefy. And the clearance we got was really impressive. I gotta say, I'm really looking forward to getting out on the trail. You're gonna wanna stay tuned in the coming days, guys, because we're gonna do a full detailed review of these tires. We're gonna give you our impression of how well they perform both on-road and off-road. And I wanna give a big shout out to Cooper Tires and Dirt Trends for making this day possible. We really appreciate that. Until next time, guys, we'll see you out on the trail. <laughs>